So most of my feedback these days comes from my agent. When I was working on Shotgun Love Songs, initially there was feedback from my colleagues at, um, at the Iowa Writers Workshop. And then after a while I stopped seeking feedback from my colleagues and just wrote. I didn't want to second guess what I was working on or be hindered by, by somebody's advice that maybe didn't like see, understand like the scope of the project or something like that. Just worked by myself. And when I finished the project, I handed it over to my agent and then he and I went through about a three to four month process where I would email him the draft on Friday and he'd email it back to me on Monday, Friday, Monday, Friday, Monday, Friday, Monday, between May of 2012 and like August of 2012. And at that point he was pretty satisfied and so we went out and sold it. Same thing with Beneath the Bonfire, my collection of short stories. I had some editorial advice there um, from my old publisher, but largely again it was me and my, my agent working closely together. When I finished the, the draft for The Faithlessness of Men, I was worried about the story because I think it's, it shares a lot of themes with shotgun love songs, but there's some departures too. There's a big central female character, so I really wanted my wife to read it and kind of like weigh in and just tell me like, is this, well, what do you make of this? You know, is this working? She's kind of the, the other person I get feedback from. I think right now there's so many modern distractions on our phones, uh, our computers, the television. You know, you've got this electronic typewriter that is also a movie theater and a concert hall, sports page, all these distractions, Facebook, Twitter. And I just think to lock into your imaginary story and choose to shut out all those things is, is very hard to do. Maybe against all odds, in the face of all this technology and our, um, the distractions we have, that maybe like the next really cool thing that could happen with our culture is young people just consciously detaching from these devices. I mean, I think that would be so cool. A bunch of young people were just like, I'm not gonna do that, you know? I'm just gonna return to, to books and writing and live music and I'm not gonna participate in Twitter and Instagram and all this other BS. And I know I waste time, you know, looking at sports scores or what have you. That's probably the hardest. I don't have a lot of complaints about writing. I feel pretty blessed to be a professional writer. I tell people like other than being Aaron Rodgers backup or like a bullpen catcher for the Milwaukee Brewers like I'm doing precisely what I wanted to do when I was 16, 17, 18 years old. I mean, I think there are people that think musicians are, you know, or movie actors or professional athletes are the coolest people in the world. I've always thought that writers were like really cool. I taught for two years when I was at the University of Iowa, and I think this advice is applicable to college students. It's certainly applicable to high school and middle school students, too. You, you can't be a good writer unless you're a reader. It's just impossible. It's not about reading the easy things or reading what everyone is reading. It's reading work that's challenging and reading other works from other cultures and, um, you know, reading poetry, reading nonfiction, reading everything. And I mean, the other thing is like you're entering into a vocation that's purely passion. The, the only thing you can control is sort of like your own work and your own work ethic. One thing that I, I get asked a lot is like, how did you find your agent? How did you sell your book? And to me, those aren't really the right questions. The right questions are like, how do I get better as a writer? How do I ask for advice? Who do I go to? You know, we live a long ways away from New York City or Los Angeles. So the odds of just bumping into a literary agent, and even if you did, the odds of them being interested in taking your material are pretty low. So the best thing that you can control day to day is becoming better as an artist.